All right, so here we have three rocker arms from a 3.6 Chrysler Pentastar V6 engine. And these are really common, common issue. You start your engine, you'll hear a tick, 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 tick that matches engine RPM. These are going to be the cause of that issue, but more importantly, here are three different examples of how they fail. They can fail not necessarily in different ways, that the root the root cause is always generally the same in my experience, but the stages of failure. These are three distinct different stages of failure that that would definitely benefit somebody trying to find this issue. There is needle bearings gone to the point where the roller of the roller rocker freezes. This is supposed to be a roller rocker arm and you cannot you cannot twist this. It is frozen solid. So that just means the cam lobe is going to be skidding along there and you can see the witness marks there where that's the case. Then you move on to this is the most extreme example I've ever seen. I, I keep this rocker arm around just for stuff like this. All of the needle bearings are gone. All of the needle bearings are gone, look. That's crazy. The roller's still there, but all of the needle bearings have fallen out. <clears throat> and this will generally produce probably the loudest, the loudest tick, although, it, although the louder tick may not necessarily correlate to the most destruction. The noise and the amount of damage and metal shavings are not they are not strictly related to each other. Um, and this is kind of just a, like a beginning phase, general kind of, it's on its way out and you can hear it. See, there's, see the movement there. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get a little better shot of that. Yeah, you can see the needle bearings aren't gone, but they are, there is a lot of play in the, ro in the roller. So yeah, that's just, Real quick, three different types of 36, 32 uh, Chrysler Pentastar V6 rocker arm failure.